Google Cloud Next 2017 has hosted a lot of talks detailing the future of cloud. If you didn't get a chance to catch Rob Croft's introduction to machine learning, then stay tuned, because here's the recap. Eric Schmidt describes machine learning as the next transformation of technology. The programming paradigm is changing. Instead of programming a computer, you teach a computer to learn something, and it does what you want. That's important, because 90% of the world's data is unstructured. It doesn't say, hey, I'm a picture of Rado's cat on a cat shelf. We just have a picture. It turns out that most people on the internet don't usually label things with what they actually are. So our challenge is to drive unstructured data into structured understanding. Once you've got structured data, you can provide value on top of it. In order to achieve that, you need a few important things, like good quality clean data, which is really hard. 75% of the workload for machine learning data scientists is doing data modeling to get that clean data. The remaining effort is in algorithms to apply to that data. The machine learning process takes in data that comes in and applies an algorithm against it to generate predictions that connect the rest of your business processes. Now, chances are that the algorithm isn't quite right, or the data wasn't clean enough, or you don't have enough data. You will turn these uh, weird scenarios into something that you operationalize using specialists focusing on data cleansing and different algorithm types. For some of these things, you don't really need to stay on the cutting edge. You can use someone else's black boxes and focus your own team on specialized systems where you've got unique IP to lend against it. In practice, Google offers tools across the spectrum to help you. Firstly, there's TensorFlow, a powerful, flexible, open source set of frameworks that allow you to create your own set of systems with exactly the same code that we use internally. The bad news is that it still requires you to write the ML equivalent of machine code. And TensorFlow is largely meant to advance the science, but it also in many cases is completely sufficient for production use. Next is Cloud ML Engine. This automates the most painful parts of TensorFlow. You can let us decide if you need 64 GPUs, and if you need 12 of those in the US or 14 in Asia, how many SSD IO ops per second you need, and how long you'll likely need it. We currently support t-shirt sizing your environment in uh, small, medium, and large, which means uh, you know I'm, I want it eventually, or it's a trivial problem, or it's a reasonable problem, and I want it reasonably quickly, and I'm willing to pay for it, or I really want it now, and I don't care how hard the problem is. Finally, there is the black box section with pre-trained models for translation, vision, and video. But in the near future, we expect to have a solution that slots in here between the final two options, where you can add the capability to identify something specific using your own data set. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you'd like more details on that, you should check out the full video. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist. And don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.